Hi guys, recently we came from Comic Con Russia, from St. Petersburg and so we have uh, a lot of attention there, uh, a lot of great feedbacks and everything was just so cool. Thank you so much to 51st Legion and Disney for making this happen and to Comic Con as well. And we were participating in the Comic Con using our Patrol Trooper armor. So we decided to make it weathered version and I believe this was a great idea. Uh, and the first hint about this is just uh, make it weather it a bit because when you're making the pictures and the photos all the details became visible and you look superb on the pictures no detail loss or something like this so I highly recommend you to weather your we armor maybe a bit maybe heavy weathering but weather it and uh, I want to tell you some tricks and tips uh, from my experience of using this patrol trooper armor on Comic Con. So, the first thing is strapping. I used a very simple scheme of strapping uh, and uh, I used the Velcro. Just industrial Velcro glued the inner side and it works perfectly. Uh, the other thing is uh, the shoulder bells so I used uh, velcro as well and I glued soft foam here so when I walking and when I move the shoulder bell moves over the biceps and doesn't make any scratches as you see it's no scratches here and it works great here next thing is a code so I used also the velcro, but I added some velcro here. So below your crotch you should add some velcro to your pants and it, it will hold perfectly. The same velcro I used for the forearm, but I used two-sided. So when you twist your hand, it stays in its position and it's good. And the armor itself. So as you see, everything combined in a very small, very, um, I don't know how to say, very compact position. And when you're wearing it, you can move it like this. Put your shoes here and the main piece. I will disassemble it now and show you. So, what about strapping? I use rubber band here. As you see, rubber band here. It allowed me to open and close it when I'm wearing it. And I use Velcro here. I glued hard part of Velcro permanently and the soft velcro additional and I highly recommend you to add some paddings here on this area because it's uh, very strongly depressing your shoulders and it's really painful <laughs> so if you use this uh, this type of strapping the work with armor is very easy so you remove soft part of velcro remove your rubber strap and open it as you see the rubber hold it two pieces together and you can easily wearing it so then you put it again like this and add soft velcro and you're ready to go don't forget about weathering it shows all the beauty of your armor the next thing is ab plate so i use the new mark ii ab plate full round with 
back piece and I added some uh, webbings so I am wearing it just like this you know and with these straps laying on my shoulders and I permanently glued the belt I glued it to add plate and as you see it moves here allowing me to breathe comfortably comfortable and move going down and up it's good really good the thermal detonator and all the details of the belt were permanently glued and the weathering showed all the beauty so it's very simple it was just glued here simply like this and the belt simply glued easy to wear easy to assemble and here we go about here we go to talk about the boots boots one of the most interesting thing so a lot of you people ask me how to assemble boots so this is the full assembly as you can see the l-shaped part goes on top the main rib buckles strap another buckle uh, the, the plate back plate uh, the heel part and the toe part and another rubber strap going underneath of your shoe so actually what did I do I took my boot and covered it with uh, white vinyl just plain vinyl film I covered you can see it here some piece here and I put the same vinyl here on this area and on this area then I put some velcro glued velcro straight over vinyl film just glue it no worry about your boots everything will be fine glue it velcro here and glue it velcro on the inside of your armor piece and then put it on top everything holds perfectly we spent almost i don't know six hours daily in this armor and as you see it's okay totally okay you may see the vinyl here and the velcro here over here it's right there like this and it holds perfectly another hint is using uh, this I don't know how to explain what is this it's a metal road thin metal road so what it does what it gives you when you Put your leg inside your boot you will find that the zip lock is covered and you can't move it here so you just take this lace and uh, use it underneath of your armor and zip it on so it will work greatly <laughs> so I took a picture about all this strapping and I will add it to the Facebook group and you will find it here. So feel free to ask me if everything I will can tell you. And uh, after using, after trooping in Patrol Trooper, I have a lot of experience in it. So feel free to ask. Oh, oh, and I forgot. I forgot the one very important thing. The whole strapping for this kit took me about four and a half hours one day only four and a half hours because it's the most easiest stripping i've ever seen 
and it works perfectly it gives you ability to move to sit to relax you will see the pictures <laughs> and uh, this is very comfortable kit i highly recommend to use this easy strapping will be fine